This is going to be a short and sweet video talking about WebM for Adobe Premiere Pro and Media Encoder. I'm going to show you guys how to install it and then talk about some of the settings. In order to install it, I'll include the link to this website in the description down below. We're going to click on the download link. It's going to tell you the download destination and who it's downloading for. It's also going to ask for user account control and I'm going to allow that. And then it's installed. It's really that quick. Let's bring up Adobe Media Encoder. I use WebM for files with an alpha channel that need to be compressed. I don't know of any other codec that allows compression with an alpha channel. That's why WebM is one of my favorite codecs. So right away we're going to change our format to WebM. And I'm going to match my image settings. And then we're going to go down to our codec settings and VP8 is a much smaller file size, but it is a lower quality. So I'm going to use VP9 and I always choose constant quality, but you could always change that to variable. Now the estimated file size is not 100% accurate here uh, by any means. This seven second video at 100% quality was 109 megabytes, I believe, after I encoded it. Trick here is to play around with the quality settings. Uh, it took, I think, two minutes for a two pass encoding with a 444 sampling and a 12 bit depth with the alpha channel. So if you have a larger file, like a longer running video and you need to compress it you might want to play it on the safe side and start at the uh, basic 50 quality those are pretty much all the settings you have there webm is very simple and easy to use if you have any questions for me let me know in the comments down below if you need more tutorials for adobe or windows anything computer related feel free to suggest those in the comments as well thanks for watching guys